How's it going guys, it's Kai Darts here, and today we're going to be using Fluent Power Trip add-on by CG Thoughts. We're going to be using the Cloth Simulation. So um, I'm going to be showing you guys a couple of practical, real-life situations that you might want to use this on, or where it may not be so necessary, and uh, some pros and cons about using this. So on my scene right now, I have two planes, and if I go into uh, edit mode, you'll see that they're exactly the same, right? And I have a cylinder on the side. So if I want to bring up the quick menu to use Fluent Power Trip, I hit F on the keyboard. So if you see me doing this, I'm just hitting F. Or if you want to be a nerd, you can just hit N on the keyboard and it brings up the Fluent Power menu on the uh, on the side here. So if you're a nerd, do that. If you're cool, hit F, right? So um, to use this, to use the cloth simulation, go to cloth panel here. But we're not going to simulate just yet. I want to bring to your attention that there's a simulation settings here on the right, which we're going to click on now. And uh, you can work with the topology uh, drop down here. You can leave it on quad so you can go to triangulate, poke, so forth and so on. But for the sake of the tutorial, we're just going to leave it on quad. Now, the only thing we're really going to play with on the settings or mess with is the separate by faces. So if we check separate by faces on and we hit OK, now let's run the simulation. Let's hit F on the keyboard after selecting our, our um, body here. And if we go to cloth panel, hit the hotkey A to select all and hit enter, you'll see that it's actually simulating each individual face by itself. It's its own entity rather than all at one or all at once, I should say. Now that that's done, I'm going to do another simulation on this second um, plane here. So I hit, I'll select it, hit F, and I go back to simulation settings, and I'm going to uncheck separate by faces and hit OK. Now if I go to cloth panel, hit A to select all, and hit enter, you'll see now it's simulating it all at once. So that's something cool. So this might be beneficial for uh, you depending on what you're using this for. And before I start using this for a practical situation, I do want to let you guys know what it's doing. It's just, just in case you don't get so far ahead and then you start using this and realize you messed up or something like that. So if I select this pillow here that I just created with that simulation and I slide it over to the right, underneath you'll see there lies the original plane. And underneath this little uh, simulated pillow is, you know, it's hollow. There's nothing underneath there. So what this did was um, create its own seams so this can be UV unwrapped quickly for us. So if we hit tab to go into edit mode, you'll see that the seams are now marked. And the beneficial part for this would be uh, going into uh, the UV editing, hit A, and let's hit U to UV unwrap this. And quickly you'll see that that's been UV laid out perfectly. And that's gonna save you a lot of time once you start uh, getting more familiar with this add-on. And I do want to bring to your attention here, so I'll just select this plane underneath the original plane and slide that over. I want to bring this to your attention because this is something that might cause you some issues depending on what you're using this for. So it did a simulation for each face, right? So that means these are not connected. And this could be problematic later on the line if you didn't, if you weren't aware of this. So what I'll do is, um, to make these all one, you know, one object, we can just select it and go to Control J. Now it's all one object. But the issue is where those seams were cut, it needs to be welded. So to do that, to fix that, you just want to go to the Modifier tab. And we don't really need these right now. These are just the, the, the placement from the simulation. So we can exit those and we'll go to the modifier and we'll just add a weld here and you can see what it's actually doing if you slide it it's just merging those vertices together so 0 0.04 should be fine and I'll just apply this and I also want to show you guys that the U that this is still UV unwrapped because if we go to hit tab to go to to see it in the edit mode you'll see that the seams are still here now let's go to UV editing. Let's hit A to select all, and we'll hit U to unwrap this. 
and quickly you'll see that this is perfectly UV unwrapped. There's actually They actually got rid of the seams in the middle, so that's even better. So this is gonna save you guys a lot of time once you guys start working with the UVs. Now I wanna show you guys a more practical situation where this add-on flourishes. So I have this cylinder here that I created and we're gonna be using um, the check face, the separate by faces on and we're gonna uncheck it at the same time. So if I hit um, F really quick to bring up the menu, I'm gonna to go to simulation settings and I'm gonna check separate by faces and I said okay. Now I hit F again to bring up this panel and we'll go to cloth panel. Now I'll hold Alt and select this middle edge here so it can select this ring and I'll hit enter and I'll let this run its simulation. And it's gonna be separating these separately by each face like we saw earlier. And this is just something, this is really powerful guys. This is something that would have taken you a couple of hours maybe, or you know, a lot longer, close to an hour to do. And we can do this in, you know, seconds. <laughs> so what I'll do now is reselect the original model. See the original model underneath here. And I'll hit F and I'll go to simulation settings and I'll uncheck separate by faces. I said, okay, now we'll hit F once again, go to cloth panel, and I will change my little select tool here to select circle. So all I have to do is just go around in the circle and just select these. Now if I hit enter, we have this nice little pillow for the top. And this is really powerful. So hopefully you guys found uh, this video somewhat useful. And if you did, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.